Well, new at five, Tennessee Attorney General Herbert Slatery announced in a historic agreement that is aimed to help families hurt by opioid addiction in our state and around the country. WATE.com's Austin Martin is at our alert desk. Austin, we're talking billions of dollars here. Yeah, 26 billion to be exact. The agreement is between state and local governments and three opioid distributors and one of the manufacturers of the painkillers, Johnson & Johnson. Now, the agreement would resolve investigations and lawsuits over the company's roles in creating and fueling the opioid epidemic. 4,000 lawsuits have been filed so far, along with the payout. It also requires major changes to help uh, prevent a crisis like this from ever happening again. The three distributors collectively will pay up to $21 billion over 18 years. Johnson & Johnson will be required to pay $5 billion over nine years, with up to $3.7 billion paid during the first three years. Now, each state's share of the funding has been determined by an agreement among the states using a formula that takes into account the impact of the crisis on that state. Factors range from overdose deaths, number of residents with substance use disorder, and volume of opioids uh, prescribed as well, as well as the population of the state. Now, Tennessee's AG estimates our state's cut would be about $600 million for anti-drug efforts. The agreement also states Johnson & Johnson must stop selling opioids for the next 10 years and must provide that data to the public. Now, by the way, in Tennessee, opioid overdoses kill an average of five people a day. At the Alert Desk, Austin Martin, WATE.com.